folks, and welcome back to the channel. We've got a very interesting subject come up on the Commonwealth in the Governance section, and it is talking, I believe it's speaking about it, the person who has posted it. God, I love digging holes, don't I? The person who's posted it, I think they're getting at what I've been discussing in previous discussions on the channel, outside of the channel also. Now, <clears throat> Myself and Strafe Cole, uh, at the very beginning of sort of meeting each other, we discussed many times um, about the RCD LCD end endpoint problem and everything always going back to to one place, right? And it's currently like that at the moment. It, there's two places realistically, but it, it's very very centralized. And if it's going to be like that, it may as well be centralized through governance now. What this person's actually getting at, I believe, is the idea of the RCD LCD endpoint infrastructure being integrated across the active set. Now, you're wondering, how can this be done? Well, it's actually quite easy. I think it's more or less a case of spinning up either an extra node or a cluster uh, node, as to which every validator would need to spin that up and it would need to be specifically for handling RCD, LCD endpoint infrastructure. By doing this, you would solve the problem forever with the RCD, LCD endpoint systems and, and needing to have these ports of calls. We're a decentralized system and this person has supposedly spoken with the L1 and apparently this is doable. The reason why I know this is doable is because somebody I know who is one of the most knowledgeable people I've ever met in my whole entire life has said to me, it's doable. If he says it's doable, it's 100% doable. Now, we've got two kinds of people in the sector. We've got problem finders and problem solvers. What we need is problem solvers who are going to innovate, educate, and more or less pioneer in new ideas, new techniques, new modules, and just new things in general, coming up with new ideas. This is imperative, I believe, for us to focus on in Q4, because ultimately everyone's going to sit there and they're going to say, oh, you know, proposal after proposal, oh, we're doing this again, we're doing that again. We would not be walking this path again if terror rebels hadn't privatized the sector or you know, Terraport hadn't decided to privatize what they're privatizing. It's all down to the people who have been put in power previously, who have just pillaged and plundered this chain. The time for change is now. The time for pioneering in new modules, which can just completely remove, okay, this whole issue with the endpoint systems. Not only that, but wipe out the cost, okay? And then it puts it across the active set. That is probably like the best outcome we could achieve as a blockchain. Not only would we be reducing our quarterly running costs, right? We would be innovating our sector and showing, hey, we had this problem, we've solved it. I believe that in time, we can achieve this. It's 100% achievable, but not right now. And the reason being is because we need to get the station created. And it's really nice this person's put Q4 because <clears throat> in the next quarter, but by the time we get to that quarter, everything should be in place aside the mobile app, which is going to need security order auditing to go on mobile store and it will need a stewardship to go along with it. But ultimately, right, there's solutions to everything. And the same bad actors, they're, they're frothing at the mouths over it my current proposal. Oh, you know, you're doing this and, and you're doing that. And it's, it's hilarious. I, I absolutely love it. I think this is good. I think it's good that people in the community are beginning to pay attention to things that are going on and, and seeing that, hey, there are issues and, and hey, I should be the one to flag this. And, you know, anybody who feels the need to flag something or to speak about something, that's what Commonwealth's for. And I think, so many people are so scared to post something because it's the same negative bad actors that jump on everything and sort of bully everybody and run the roost kind of thing. And, you know, 
You don't need to listen to people like that. It's simply just negative people that are always going to be like this. They've been around for the same amount of time we've all been around. It's just their general nature. It's what they do. It's who they are. And, you know, I think the best thing to do is to not pour oil onto a fire and just allow that fire to simply burn itself out. And, you know, if no one responds to them, if nobody speaks to them, if nobody shows them any attention, what do they have? Absolutely diddly squat. Just them talking a load of waffle to each other about how bad things are when it's all just an embedded technique to try and crush this blockchain from the inside out. Now, like I was saying, bringing in a module, right, which solves so many problems should be our top priority. We should look at the current small issues we have in our sector and we should think to ourselves, how can we correct this? How can we better it? And ultimately, right, I'll keep saying this to people time and time and time again. There is only one other public endpoint other than the, the endpoints all nodes provide currently. Okay, that's Terra Rebels. If the funding goes to the blockchain instead of Terra Rebels to pay for the endpoint infrastructure, even if it was the same cost, we'd still be in a better position. And I can't emphasize enough how important it is to get out from under the boot of TFL. We don't even want to be associated with that blockchain anymore. It's clear we've always been the enemy. I've seen stuff behind the scenes, which really was a head turner for me at a certain point through this journey. And it's just like, I can't show people's personal messages. I can't dox people and I can't do all of these different things. But what I can tell you is what I've seen behind the scenes. I've been around for a while. The likelihood of me being <clears throat> over dramatic is just not something that I do. I'm not trying to do this for views. I'm not trying to do this for fame, glory, money, power. I don't want a position of power. I don't want a paid position. I don't want to take any money out of the Oracle Rewards pool or the community pool. I don't want anything. What I want is for this blockchain to prosper. And people putting up things like this is a really, really good sign, like I was saying, that things are changing. Things are going to begin to take a U-turn. And the more aligned we can become and the more we can backfeed everything in to this governance system, what, which we're looking at right now, okay, the better, because then nobody gets to privatize anything. Nobody gets to prosper from anything. No paychecks are greasing anybody's palms. It all sustains the blockchain. And if we do that and we walk that route and we do this correctly, Whilst meanwhile, the quant team's working on the USTC repeg, I 100% believe we can move back up to these 13, 14 next stages that we've reached before off of us thinking as a community, Terra Rebels were the ones to take us to where we needed to be. Because it definitely wasn't them who drove the price. It was us as a community. We're the people who drive this. Okay, it's not those who sit up there in those sheds. It's people like us who are down here in the trenches doing the hard work, you know, going from A to B to C to D to C and just repeating it over and over again, ensuring that you're around every day to try and help educate, communicate with people and stuff like that. I can always be found in my Telegram. It's funny to say the least. I'm going to be doing a, a lot of content as we push forward, which is simply just going to be ruffling feathers and, you know, the truth hurts a lot of the time and these people are going to defend, okay, what they're getting and what they have control of and paychecks at any cost, okay? I'm such a huge target right now. It's insane. Folks, stay safe. I hope you got some good advice for this. I was really excited to see this go up, to be quite honest, because like I said, it's like someone's listening to me and then going and, and, and taking things into their own hands and saying, do you know what? I can put a proposal up for this and I can propose this. And if it passes, you know, this is what it's all about. This is what governance really is and the beauty of it. We need to ensure we continue building for this blockchain no matter what. None of this is financial advice. It's all for educational purposes only. Beware of scammers. Beware of doppelgangers. Beware of anybody pretending to be me. And I'll catch you in the next one.